Hey all, so this video is going to focus on setting up um, an open VPN client within the Edge Router X. In my case, I'm using a service called IP Vanish. Um, with IP Vanish, they, they provide you um, an open VPN um, connection. So um, they, can, they provide you a zip file with uh, all kinds of um, .ovpn files and uh, the, the certificate as well. Um, so, so what we're going to do is to see how we can configure this within the Edge Router X. So I've downloaded already an OpenVPN configuration file um, from them. I'm going to just load it up and you will see over here, here we go. So this is the default file that comes with um, with IP Vanish. So we're going to have, make some changes to this. We are going to uh, underneath client, we're going to type root no pull, root hyphen no pull. Um, we're then going to on dev ton, we're going to change that to dev type ton. Um, we are then going to, against CA, we're going to change this to forward slash config, forward slash, and then the name of the certificate. And in auth user pass, we're going to put after that config forward slash auth forward slash pass dot text. Now, the reason we're making these changes are we need the Edge Router X to read credentials from a file that we're going to put there, and we're going to put it in this location. We need it, it to read the certificate as well, so we've we've told it here what location to look for. Um, and the other two are, are just um, bits that you need. You can read up more on those if you if you need. So I've saved that file. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use um, a program called WinSCP to upload these files to to the um, to the server. Let me go back here. There we go. So I've already got a connection here. Um, this password's going to be wrong, so just change that and save it and log in. So we now can upload files to this. So we take the OVPN file, as you can see, we're in that config location. So if we just drag that into there and along with the certificate as well, that goes there. Then what we said, we said there was a, an authorization file in here. So if we go auth and go uh, new file, auth, oh no, what do we call it? Pass.txt. And how this works is the first line is your username. So you type your username, whatever that may be. And the second line is your password. And you type that, whatever it, whatever it may be. Obviously, that's not my username and password. I will enter mine when the video is paused. Okay, I've entered mine now. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, try and SSH in to the uh, to the router. I'm using bash on Windows here. Um, so if I SSH my username at the IP address of set of the thing. There we go. So this is quite useful actually. This is an, an error message that um, that you can get um, fairly often. Um, it's quite easy to solve. You can literally just um, use this command here um, to solve it, and then try again. There we go. So if I type my password in, there we go. So I'm logged into the to the router now. Just as a side note, one thing I did find is um, I used to have a uh, I've had a very complicated p 
password for this router before and um, I couldn't SSH onto it until I removed a few of the uh, com complex symbols. Um, most notably, I used the pound sign. That's not the American pound sign. I mean the, the British currency pound sign. Um, and once I removed those characters, it worked. So that's just something to keep in mind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type uh, configure. I'm now in edit mode. I'm going to set interfaces open VPN uh, VTUN zero config file. Now we need to point this to our where we put our config file. So we'll just double check what that's called. Go up a directory here. There it is. Now bear in mind here the, um, the casing matters. So uh, ours is called IP vanish hyphen UK hyphen London hyphen LUN hyphen A27 dot OVPN and press enter. We're going to commit that. And we are going to save it. So now what I'm going to do is reboot the router. And I'll come back once it's rebooted. So a reboot is in progress. OK, so after a successful reboot, we're back. I'm going to log in to the router. And you'll see we have this new VTUN down here at the bottom. Open VPN, and you'll see that it has an IP address. So the router is now connecting to that VPN tunnel automatically. Now, we shouldn't be routing anything across it right now. So we'll just double check that. What's my IP? And Google tells me that it's 144, and that uh, is correct, because I know that that's my normal IP address. Um, So we now have a, a tunnel that um, will be um, connected to automatically. At the moment, nothing uses that tunnel, uh, but we'll cover um, routing through that tunnel in the next video. So one thing to note is that if you go to the VPN section of the OS, of the, the router OS, you'll see that there's nothing here. It doesn't, um, the, the UI doesn't pick up this tunnel that we've created. Um, so that's one thing just to keep in mind that once we've kind of dropped down into the terminal, um, you, you're kind of on your own for certain parts of this config now, um, but that's okay.